Yeah, so honestly, I have a background. My, I got my Bachelor of Science in clinical research. So I was introduced to regulatory through clinical research. And I'm going to be honest, I wasn't a fan. But um, I had to do an internship my last year of undergrad. And I got placed at an internship to be a regulatory specialist. And I was like, oh, this isn't so bad. Maybe it was just like the first class I took, but those last two classes of regulatory, I was like, oh, this is my niche. Like, this is what I'm going to do. So I started on regulatory, kept doing that, did some trial master file. But at the end of the day, I ended up being a CRA. So currently I'm a CRA, but I'm making my way back to regulatory very soon once I finish this program. And I'm very excited to dive straight into it. Um, the master's program has been very flexible, of course. Working the convention now and trying to be flexible with my schoolwork, it's worked out hand-in-hand. -hand. You just have to get ahead and stay ahead and keep persevering.